Hi everyone! So today I am going to do a fall wax collection. I went through my stash like a week ago trying to kind of pull out all the fall wax or what I kind of considered fall wax and put it aside so I could just, you know, start being aware of what I have in my stash. Maybe I don't need to continue buying fall wax this year. I don't know. Let's see. I have a lot of boxes surrounding me. I'm pretty sure I need to slow it down on fall wax purchases. It's really tough because fall wax is like my favorite category. I love pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffle bakery, which I kind of consider fall. Um, but I would do pumpkin pecan waffles all year round. Um, so I don't know. Let's just start grabbing. This is basically going to be like my Christmas wax collection that I did last year. Um, I'm sure I'm missing wax in my collection and I'll kind of touch on if I have more like fall Halloween wax in my storage, but I just like can't grab it all. Um, or like I'm sure I'm going to get orders in here and there with fall wax, but this is the gist of my collection so far. Um, I want to go through my loaves first. I'm definitely going to plan on doing a fall chop and chat. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's, I'll try to go by vendor, but honestly, like some things might be just scattered because I just kind of threw things in the box. So I'll start with some of my Sassy Girl Aroma Loaves. Loaves, a lot of these that I'm going to show are still double bagged because when I put them away in my collection, I make sure to double bag loaves specifically, not smaller items, not brittles, bags, little shaped items, clamshells. Like I don't double bag those because I feel like they're easier to get through like smaller items, but loaves I for sure double bag just until I grab them. And then I'll save the outer bag that didn't actually touch the wax. So this one's a blueberry pumpkin cornbread from Sassy Girl Aroma. I got this one in December, December, 2021. None of this wax should be older than a year. Um, if it is older, like on the older side, it would just be about approaching a year, but nothing should be like over a year unless it was like from a D, not D stash, um, like wax swap or anything like that. But purchased from me, it shouldn't be over a year old. So anyway, blueberry pumpkin cornbread. I probably won't go too in depth because we have so much wax to talk about, but I love it. I love the chunky loaves. Definitely plan on chopping that one. Rise of Fall. This is actually a newer loaf that I got. I can't even remember if I did a haul on this or not because I might have just gotten like a really small order. I can't remember. This is a really, really nice like staple fall scent. Apple, cider, caramel, pumpkin pecan, waffles, sugar and cookies, marshmallow. It's just a perfect fall kind of a scent. Um, and Julie has a really nice kind of like apple cider note. I really like hers. So I just got this in June. So this might be not in the first round of chopping. Like when I do a chop and chat, I might wait to chop this one just because it's still somewhat new in my collection, but I grabbed it just because it's fall. We have IHOP, another staple, really popular blend of Julie's, pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, brown sugar, caramel coffee. This, was, this one's from January. So, you know, not too old, but still something that I'll probably grab to chop. Um, I think that's all my Sassy Girl Aroma chunky loaves, but we will get into the brittles later on after the loaves. Let me go into some of my really cute customs that I did with Bodies Harmony, which I did do a haul on this, so it's up on my channel. These were poured in May, so I must have done, I must have purchased the customs in June, no, not June. They were poured in May, I must have done the customs in April. So this one I created called Pumpkin Season, I did a ton of pumpkin scents just purely for the purposes of them being cured for the fall time but also I was just in a pumpkin mood um so I did vanilla buttercream crunch pumpkin creme brulee and pumpkin cheesecake from Bodies Harmony again this was just a custom she tends to do customs from what I noticed monthly every other month I know she took a break from customs in the summer but I think she does them pretty much monthly if I'm remembering correctly but look at how cute she does really pretty like decorated loaves so pumpkin season, this one I named pumpkin spice, again, kind of double bagged so it's hard to see 
the label a little bit. Pumpkin sugar donuts, I love that scent note. So pumpkin sugar donuts, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow sugar waffle cone. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. And then here's what the loaf looks like. Super cute. It's gonna be hard to wanna chop into these because they're so pretty. And then this one was from her like, I think it was like a sweets and treats pre-order in snack time. So this is a custom that I made or that I ordered, but it's one of her current, it was one of her blends. Like I didn't come up with this. I just loved it. Zucchini bread, vanilla, pumpkin, marshmallow, frosted animal cookies. It just smells so good. Like that pumpkin, pumpkin marshmallow, that must be a really nice strong pumpkin. It's really, really good. And then this is what it looks like. Again, it was from like a summer sweets and treats pre-order, I think. That's why it's kind of more summery themed. Um, we've got a single loaf from Fantasy Wax Melts, which I don't know if this haul is going to be on my channel yet. I just added it into my sticker, August sticker haul. Um, this is a loaf in pumpkin pecan waffles. So just a plain loaf in pumpkin pecan waffles, such a staple scent. This one might also be one that, kind of similar to The Rise of Fall, I might not chop in the first round, I'm not sure, because I did get this in somewhat recently, I think it was at the beginning, no, beginning to mid-August, so I feel like it could maybe benefit from a little more cure time, just because I do tend to like to cure my wax for at least like a month when I get it in, so we'll see, but I definitely want to cut this up and use this in the fall or to be honest i might just hang on to it because pumpkin pecan waffle again i would do any time of year um we have a few l3 lows which i took is Minnie's i don't know if you can see that Minnie was chasing her tail um so we have some l3 loaves this one's in hufflepuff a staple scent if she releases hufflepuff loaves i already have like two extras in my collection because i love hufflepuff so much but if she releases more in the fall time, like Hufflepuff loaves, I would definitely purchase like two more because I never want to be without it. Fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. I've had this before. I've already melted through a loaf. I just love it. This one's from December, so it's definitely good and cured. October vibes. This was from a, I think this was a customer created blend. Um, I got this again December of last year, so it's definitely ready to be cured, and I pulled this in because of the, like, candy corn note. Otherwise, it's pretty much just a nice bakery, but the name and the candy corn note just makes me think fall and Halloween, so I pulled it. This one's Basic Witch. Again, I think this was from a customer-created blend from fall last year. Vanilla bean, pumpkin spice, pumpkin pecan waffles. Just a really nice fall blend but totally could do any time of year. So this one I got from, De um, not December, October of last year. I write dates on my stuff just so I remember. I'm not just like remembering off the top of my head. Um, okay, this is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Birthday Cake. Oh my gosh, I don't want to cut into this because like, I just love it. But, but L3 is really good about pouring scent blends or scent requests. This is definitely one I would want in a request again. I just, I love bakery. Pumpkin pecan waffle bakery is my favorite. So that's why like my stash is so big, but I don't know. I totally do this other than the fall time. So this was from November of last year. I'll probably chop that. And then this is pumpkin white elephant exchange. This one I got in May this year, but I think it was on the website for a while. So it's probably ready ready to be cut, probably cured enough. These I didn't write dates on because I got these last year when I was newer to purchasing wax. This one's Season of the Witch. Oops, my loaves are falling over. Very popular blend of L3s. This was a loaf that I already chopped last year, but must, I don't know, I must have just used it a few times. Um, really, really nice um, leaves and apple blend. I totally purchased this again. Maybe not this year, just because I still have like almost a full loaf, but I really like it. Um, this one's I Put a Spell on You. This is like a cinnamon sugar bakery. I like it. This one's a good one too. Again, got it last year. So this one's probably, these two that I have chopped up, probably approaching like the year mark. So I'll definitely get through these this year. Um, so those were all the loaves I specifically reached and grabbed out of my collection. I'm sure there's more that we could pull if we need, but that's probably more than enough loaves. 
Um, I have two chunk pie, quarter pie chunks from Scoopable Tart Wax, um, which is making me think I should have pulled more Scoopable Tart Wax Scoopable form. Like I said, I'm sure I'm missing missing more fall items in my collection, but this one's Warm and Cozy Apple Fritter Donuts. It's just a quarter of a chunk like that. And then we have Pumpkin Graham Crackers. I just wrote the date up there. That's what that looks like. Um, let's go into some Rose Girls. So this one is Boo's Spook Spooky Castle, which I got from Caitlin in our wax swap. This was a half pie. I already warmed a quarter of it. So I will pull this one out for the fall time because of Boo Berry, that scent note. I feel like it kind of screams Halloween. We have... A few samples I've gotten over time from Rose Girls, Cider Lane, Oatmeal Cookies, Spiced Apple, Peaches Ice Cream. So these two samples, I feel like we can definitely get through this year. This is another one from Caitlin in our wax swap. I wish Jenny would pour this because it smells so good. This is Cider Delight. Cider Delight, this must have been when she was doing like chunk bags. I've never purchased or seen these chunk bags since I've been purchasing, so she hasn't done these in like a year. Besides when she used to do samplers with like two of these chunks, but I haven't actually seen like a bag of chunks. Um, so the Boo Spooky Castle was from the Mario line. I've got a few other Mario line items. So this is Far Fire Mario. So these are all from the Mario pre-order that I got in like last was it at the end of last year, like last December or something like that? So these are all very well cured. So I'll definitely pull these in this year. You can sometimes find these blends in her RTSs and pre-orders, but they are kind of like special to the Mario. This one's Autumn Mountain. I pulled this one in because of like Cider Lane, Pumpkin Macon Waffle. A very Mario Thanksgiving. So this one I'll probably do closer to Thanksgiving time. This one is Booberry Donut Holes. This one's from November of last year, so I definitely want to get through this one. Apple Cinnamon Did Someone Say Frosting? This one's from October of last year. We have Candy Corn Sweet Pumpkin Pie Vanilla Crunch Donuts. Again, candy corn with the Halloween and then pumpkin pie so maybe I'll do this closer to either Halloween or Thanksgiving this one's from August last year so this one's definitely a year old now butter pecan with pumpkin frosting butter sorry butter pecan cake with pumpkin frosting this one's just from one of her more recent pre-orders so this one I might let sit in my collection a little longer before I dip into that one apple fritter sugar spice and everything nice this one's from um, July. So again, maybe I'll let this one sit a little bit longer. I rearrange my Rose Girls bags so they look like this because then they're so much easier to like line up in your collection one after another. You can like fit so much more like if you have them in storage. So it's tedious. It takes a long time, but I feel like it's worth it. The s'mores the better. This was from a customer created blend, I think in like February time. I just thought like s'mores latte it felt a little fall, warm and cozy to me. Ghoul friends, I have a ton of ghoul friends, carbs with ghoul friends in my collection. So I thought I'd pull this one because it is going on a year old from October. I love the chunk colors. I've gotten a little more lazy with creating my own scent notes on the Rose Girls. Mini melters, I kind of stopped to doing that. I should do that again though, because it's nice to know exactly what the blends are made up of. This one's zucchini, pump zucchini pumpkin bread donuts. Again, this one's from October of last year. Um, we have a few Sassy Girl Aroma Brittles, so we'll just go into those five little pumpkins. This is from December of last year, so I'm for sure gonna warm this one. October Kiss. That one's from May, a little bit newer. Pumpkin Pie Frosted Cookies. This one's from September of last year, so this one's going on a year old. Pumpkin Waffles. This is her Pumpkin Pecan Waffles dupe, a staple. This is from January. 
things that go boo this is a recent one that i just got in in july so i might let this one cure a bit longer do that more closer to october rolling scones again i think i got this from the same pre-order as the things that go boo so this is from i got this in from july um we have a few fun ones that i pulled i could totally pull more candles from the keeping room fall scents but i only pulled three because i don't want to go through carol's wax too quickly because i know she's going to retire and it's not going to be easy to get but i don't know maybe i'll pull more she has a few more releases i think she's planning on doing a few releases up until the end of the year um and i do plan on purchasing from every release because i love it i love her wax i love the shapes it just feels so nostalgic with like the hand spun ribbon i just really like it so this one's pumpkin pecan zucchini waffle i grabbed one of these bags i grabbed mr bear's pumpkin pecan waffle sweet pumpkin mousse so those are my candles from the keeping room i chose to grab and then i have a few from l3 in these like pie forms from from when she did the pie pie day release laverne's pie stand green apple pie green apple pie crust cinnamon sugar sugar cookie so the green apple pie crust i don't know it just felt like a fall blend when i smelled it so we'll pull that out pumpkin pecan waffles coffee bean pie crust in the fun pie form so we'll definitely chop these i'll pull those to chop in my fall chop and chat all right i had to pull a few things closer to me i have this little basket Mm, what do I want to go through next? We'll go through this one. I'm going to have such a huge pile of fall wax on my floor. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and put it as my thumbnail or something. Um, okay. We have some vintage chic scents, which I think I'm going to try to do all my vintage chic scents, but I have a feeling that it's kind of spread out in some other boxes too. Um, this one is Casper Meets Wendy. This is from October of last year in the two-pack ghost forms when she sold these um, as a pack. I think now she just sells these individually, but this one I thought would be a good one because of the candy corn. A, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. I'll do this one closer to Thanksgiving, but this one is from November of last year. I love that she puts the pour dates on there. Again, a two-pack ghost. The Great Pumpkin, this is from October of last year. So these ones are very, very cured. Fall Fun Fest, Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Blend in her like ghost face shape. We've got Jack-O-Lantern. So these two I got this year. So these are more like newer vintage chic scents in my collection. So again, I might either hang on to them and not warm them this fall season or maybe do it closer to like November time just to give it some extra cure time since they are relatively new. Um, the Warrens, this is from April. I think Caitlin gifted me this. And then we have Black Cat Crunch, which is a Cider Lane blend. Again, this is from July of this year, so I don't know if I'm going to warm it yet or not. Um, daily, no, sorry, Deputy Dewey's Blueberry Cheesecake. Again, this is a newer one. Um, I just thought I would grab it because of the sweet pumpkin, but it smells so good. I would do this any time of year. Um, finally, it's Christmas. Honestly, there's nothing. Wait, why did I pull it? You know what this should be in my christmas wax collection um so i'm gonna set this to the side but there's truly nothing christmasy or fall in this blend i just pulled it because of the name but it shouldn't be in this collection minnie just crawled up onto my lap hi minnie hi minnie okay i also grabbed my fall falling in love vintage chic oh fall in love with sugar cookies this is a vintage chic sense sugar cookie sampler mixed with like other fall blends i pulled this in the whole sampler again i don't know if i'm gonna warm it at least not right away because i like to let my vintage chic scents wax cure a little bit longer um but i pulled it this haul is on my instagram um so the falling in love should i go through it really quick because i didn't show it on youtube 
Let's just go through it really quick. Why don't we? I loved it. I loved this falling in love one a little bit more than her just like heavy cookie bakery mystery sampler. This one I thought was more unique and they're all in cute fall shapes. So we've got my lucky rat tail. We've got Jackie O Lantern. These are really nice size. I'd say you could probably cut it in half. If you're a generous warmer, you could probably pop the whole thing in a warmer, but I'll probably cut it in half. We have Lizzie Borden's Sugar Cookie. We have Dead Man's Toe. I loved these samplers. I hope she does more like themed samplers in the future. Dracula Zucchini Bread. Sugar Cookie Dough Great Pumpkin. We have Black Cat Sugar Cookie. So this is really similar to that um, souffle I got. This one is Black Cat's Crunch. So these ones are kind of similar. McBoo's Sugar Cookies. If she offered this in a release, I would get it. I really liked it. Um, I'm getting into the Palo Santo and the marshmallow like fireside notes. Lovely, lovely Lydia sugar cookie dough. So that's what came in it. If I remember correctly, I think it's nine, three, six, nine. Yeah, nine little pumpkin shapes, little pumpkin cookie shapes. So I thought that was a really good deal because the sampler was, um, I think it was just under $20, 1995 or something. I thought that was a good deal. Okay. So like I said, there might be more vintage chic scents in here. Not sure, but let's just go through more. Um, oh, here's another one I found right on the top here. Twilight Zone. This is pumpkin apple marshmallow caramel. Just a staple kind of um, fall scent. Anything with pumpkin and apple, it's just totally fall. And I think I mentioned this, but I am like split this year between team apple and team, team pumpkin. I love both pumpkin and apple scents a lot this year. Um, let's do, here's two Bodies Harmony. Actually, I think I have three. Three Bodies Harmony scoops. These are the four ounce scoopable jars, so they're perfect. You can get through these pretty quickly. Hot Baked Apple Pie. I thought this one would be a good one. Closer to maybe Thanksgiving. That's what they look like. They're super cute too. Like just a little bit of glitter on the top. This one is What Are You Afraid Of? This is a blueberry bakery scent. So not necessarily like fall besides the name, but I thought I'd pull it. That's what it looks like. Ooh, that smells good. I could smell it without even putting it up to my nose. And then this is Happy Fall, y'all. I loved this one. I pulled this last year, but I didn't finish it purposefully because I loved it that much. So I will, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I will um, write this one down if I go through it. Maybe I do like a custom from her. Um, we have, I definitely have Bodies Harmony chunks in here, but I don't see them. So we'll get to those. Let's do some of these bars. We have Green Apple Brown Betty. These are all L3 Waxy Wonders bougie bars or trig tarts. Highway to Hell. This is an older one. This is a year old. This is from July of last year. Amity, Amityville. This just screamed kind of a cozy fall, body care-ish kind of a scent. Green Apple Brown Betty. I think I had another one of these. And then just Green Apple. Green Apple, I'm like torn. To me, it's kind of an anytime or like it could be spring, summer, fruity, but I also feel like anything apple is fall. So that's why I pulled those. We have... A few Knowles Farm scents that I pulled and a few Bewitching Wax. So let's do these kind of like snap bar shapes. So I've got some Knowles Farm scents. Um, these are just the samplers that came with my order. I have a haul on my channel and then I purchased from the August restock, which I never uploaded that haul. I already put away the wax in my collection, but I did make a haul on that. Let me know if you feel like I should still upload that. That at this point is from the beginning of August. I just feel like it's too late to upload, but I could definitely upload it if you guys are curious. So this is a sample fall brunch. And then this is a sample of Are You Serious, which is Palo Santo and Leaves. 
Um, I liked my sample so much that I purchased it in the full size snap bar. So I have two Are You Serious? Let's get cozy. Flannel. Oh my gosh, it's morning and I just had coffee, so sorry if I'm shaky. Macintosh Apple. And then Redneck Homebrew. So those are all my Knowles Farm scents that I pulled. I feel like I could pull more, but that's all I pulled now. And same with Bewitching Wax. Her wax is all like kind of spooky Halloween kind of themed. So I could have pulled everything, but I pulled what I thought seemed, you know, either the name was like most fall Halloween themed or the notes. So this is Witching Hour. And this is what it looks like on the back. The Cauldron Shop. I have two of these pulled. And that's what it looks like. Super pretty. And this is the other one. And two of the aunts. It's like my favorite scent that um, Tara pours. I love it. I stocked up on this one in my collection. It's such a good kind of like cinnamon bakery. Um, let's do some Bodies Harmony. I already did Bodies Harmony. I don't know why I just said that. Let's do some Southbound. This is Fall Festival and Donut Shop. This is a newer one to my collection. I just got it in in July, so I might wait to do this one a little later in the fall. Graveyard Spells. Again, same order. This is from the July pre-order. Actually, I think it was from the June. Was it the June or July pre-order? I got it in in one of those months. Um, Graveyard Spells, I love it. It's not necessarily um, fall Halloween themed. I just grabbed it because of the name, Graveyard Spells. Apple Fritter Birthday Cheesecake, this is from the May pre-order. So this one will be ready to go come fall warming. I'm doing this collection now as well because I wanna start warming my fall and chopping it. So, oh, I just remember too, I've been terrible with wax melt empties I just kind of wasn't in the mood to film them so um I'm now also going to keep all this fall wax like what I've melted I'm going to keep my empties in a specific bin so we will go through like my fall empties together um I will make sure I keep them keep the notes and make a fall empties video I just I don't know I just wanted to take a little break from them but I have been warming it's not like I haven't been I just I just wasn't inspired to do the empties videos. This one's Deathly Apples from Southbound. A wax cake. And do I have any more wax cakes? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. And then this one is Apple of My Eye. So this one's a little bit of a newer Southbound bakery bag as well. Um, I have a ton of bathing garden fall Halloween clams. I will not be purchasing bathing garden this year because I have so much still in my collection that I like really need to get through. Um, people say bathing garden sometimes to let cure for like a year. I've warmed things before then and it's fine. I think some things are just, you know, hit or miss and you'll find what works for you and what scents work and everything like that. But I didn't warm a lot of my fall and Halloween last year, so I have so much to go through this year. I kind of just pulled that random, some fall Halloween wax. I still have like a whole drawer full that I might pull out if I need to, but I thought we'd just start with these ones. This is the Tea Witch. Feel free to go back to my bathing garden fall and Halloween haul. I think I have two videos on it pumpkin latte so these ones will be going on about a year old this year that i warmed them vampire blood um pumpkin marshmallow cookie jar with the bathing garden i make my own little scent labels because she doesn't include them and sometimes based off of the name you can't tell pumpkin butterscotch chip waffles Poison Spells, Booberry Mansion, Franken Strawberry, Colossal Pumpkin Lanterns, Monster Candy, 
Candied Pumpkins and Feast of Fall. So those are all the kind of clams I kind of picked at random in my fall Halloween drawer of Bathing Garden. But like I said, I have a huge stash. I could definitely pull in more and I probably will if I get through those ones just so I can kind of make a little dent in my collection. Let's do the Pharmacist's Daughter. We have Autumn Waffles, which I have two of them. Two Autumn Waffles. These are pumpkin pecan waffles, blueberry pecan waffles, iced almond cookies. That sounds really good. And we have Good and Rotten. Um, we have a few of their like two pack blender donuts in apple cider donut. Cinnamon sugar donuts. And pumpkin pecan waffles. A staple. We have, I'm sorry, I'm just shifting my boxes here. I just reuse, I don't know if you guys do this. I just reuse these like boxes that I get in in the mail. I just like fold down the flaps and then I'll use it as storage. Um, what are we on? Uh, the pharmacist's daughter. Um, baked with love. This is like a fun donut. This has pumpkin chai, so I thought this would be a fun one to pull. We have Here's Johnny. Pumpkin souffle is in here, so I thought this would be good to grab for the fall. Pumpkin s'mores. Her tiles. Um, apple crisp pie. That'll be a fun one to do maybe by Thanksgiving. We have a few almond pumpkin cookies. I have three of them actually because I just thought I was gonna love it. Pumpkin pecan waffle iced almond cookies, warm vanilla sugar, and I do love it. I'll probably warm one or two of them and then keep one of them in my collection because I would do that any time of the year. Um, I feel like we're gonna get to more. Oh, here's another one, soft and pretty. This has sweater weather in it. The sweater weather is super strong, which is why I didn't warm this in the summer, even though it's got pink lemonade. So we will do this one in the fall. Sweater weather can sometimes be kind of headache inducing for me because it's such a strong scent, but that's why I don't have a ton of sweater weather in my collection, like probably just like two items. Um, okay, I think that's my pharmacist daughter. We might get some more. Let's do some more of my body's harmony. This one's a little sample that I got in an order. It's got pumpkin in it, so I thought I would pull this one. These, I think one of these is a custom again. I think pumpkin season was a custom of mine. Pumpkin pecan waffle, pumpkin sugar donuts, and Danish butter cookies. This one's a custom in her, I think it was her 12 ounce. Is it 12 or eight ounce? Might be eight ounce like shape bags. So she does her customs in scoops, shape bags in different ounces and loaves. So we will do that one. Here's snack time. Here's the actual bag that was in her pre-order. It's pretty small. So that's why I'm like, let me do a loaf because I love it so much. Um, we have a ton of Bodies Harmony from last year's like Halloween release or something like that. So these ones are going to be going on a year old. So I definitely want to warm these this year. Bones for breakfast. All Bodies Harmony shapes are pretty small in her RTS. So we can definitely get through these. Crispy leaves. The Sanderson Sisters. I love Bodies Harmony. It performs really well for me. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. October Fun. What the Pumpkin. Pumpkin Lattes. That Bread. This is from the same pre-order that the Snack Time was in. This one's really good too. It's got cornbread, zucchini, pumpkin bread, and fresh baked bread. That's why I pulled it in because of the zucchini pumpkin bread. Um, is that all my body's harmony now? I think so. Okay. Let's do... 
let's do L3. I have a lot. Um, this is Fangs. This is from her. This is from a pretty recent RTS, so I might not chop into this yet. I got this in August, so. Um, I pulled this because of the name and the cute Halloween shapes, but it's not that Halloweenish. I mean, I guess there's blueberry. Graveyard. I have three of these because one I got in an order as like a freebie, and then two of them I ordered in that same RTS as Fangs. Lee's Toasted Mallow Granny Smith Apple Staple Fall Blend. And then here's my other graveyard. Um, pumpkin, no, Pecan Pie Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Sugar Cookie Royale, and it's in a cute pumpkin shape. Again, this stuff's all newer, so I might wait to warm this a little bit later, although I don't feel like L3 needs that much cure time. It always performs really great for me, even if I warm it right away. So that's another kind of spooky Halloween shape. This is a two-pack bunt, pumpkin pecan waffle, sugar cookie royale, Hufflepuff. This one's from September of last year. So this one's going on a year old. Um, pumpkin pecan waffle, vanilla butter fudge, espresso. That's in a Halloween shape. Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten breakfast, so my stomach's starting to growl. We've got a few... Or do we have just one? Just one harvest cake in Spooky Hollow. A very kind of spicy pumpkin bakery. We've got some four packed sugar skulls, I believe she calls them, in Ghost Stories and in Fall Festivities. We have some um, puppy packs. Today is October 3rd. I grabbed it because of October 3rd, but it's also got the Palo Santo and Toasted Marshmallow. And then Strawberry Jam October Vibes. Grabbed it because of the October Vibes, but really you could do this any time of year because it's not like you're really pinpoint like a candy corn scent. Um, we've got a chunk in Blueberry Zucchini Bread Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I think I have two of these. We will come across it if I find it. Glazed donuts, oops, glazed donuts, Granny Smith apple, Mac apple, just seemed like a good apple bakery. Oh, and I have some more loaves in here that I just found. Cabin in the woods, here's another harvest cake. And vertigo, another harvest cake. Um do these two loaves that I have. I didn't even realize I put loaves in this box. Pumpkin cookie pound cake from Southbound. This one again is newer, so I don't know if I'm going to chop it right away, but I have on my radar because of the fall Halloween kind of theme, ghostly brew cupcakes. Um, we have some Actually, let me do this one too. Pumpkin cookies and milk. This is when I transferred my bakery bags into Poly Pro bags, but I don't have a lot of bakery bags in my collection, so I'm just kind of keeping them in the bakery bags they come in for now. Um, these are some Lourdes Apothecary. Lourdes Apothecary is not open at the moment. I don't know if she's closed for good or just taking a break, but um, these are from last year's Harry, po no, not Harry Potter. I think it was just last year's Halloween ready to ship. So these are definitely going on a year old. Full Moon, Monster Mash, Halloween Night, and Witch's Morning Brew, which this one's a little bit of a newer one. Um, We have... A lot of Teddy Bees I pulled, again, um, some of this stuff is from like my most recent pre-order, so I pre-order an RTS, so I don't know if I'm gonna warm it this year. Maybe I'll try it, but Teddy Bees I like to let sit for a long time, like three to six months. I know that's kind of ridiculous, but I just find it performs better after a longer cure time. But some of these are from my first pre-order that I did last year. So some are going on a year old. So I'll for sure melt these ones this year. Fall Berry Sugar Cookies. I Heart Vanilla Pumpkin. This is from 
October of last year. This is when she did the pour date on the back. I smell fall. I'm excited to warm this one. Vintage flannel. Churro cakes. Cinnamon toast coffee bean a la mode. So those are all my little souffles. I've got some chunk bags from last year. See, she doesn't do the chunk bags anymore. She replaced them with the tubs. So these I will definitely warm this year, which is which is be crazy. Such a good pumpkin pecan waffle bakery blend. I would definitely get that again. The haunted bakery and cinnamon toast. This is so good. Another one I would for sure get again if she released it. These are tubs that are from the RTS, so I might I might not do them this year. I'm not sure. Little Pumpkin Beach Party. Sugared Cider. And Pumpkin Queen. We have... We're almost done here. We have a few other things at the bottom um cauldron bubble from the pharmacist's daughter victorian midway from the bathing garden i have two of them it smells kind of fall to me spiced apple funnel cake pumpkin frosting so i kept these for fall even though it was from the circus collection mummy apple sugar cookie this is from october of last year so we will definitely warm this I just didn't want to cut into it last year because it's so cute. Um, two Broadway wax samples in fall back. Um, we have a fantasy wax melt scent shot in pumpkin spice. And then we just have my safe. So I have a few. Oh, no, wait. I found a few more sitting next to me. The Soul's Inspiration Caramel Apple Souffle. Definitely a year old. And then I pulled these 2Ks customs that I did. Um, again, these are newer pours, but I definitely want to try out my Ks. So I think I'll try warming these this year. Sweet Fall Day, a custom I did. And Pumpkin Party. Okay, now let's go to my Zape. There's a few things from different collections or a few things from last year. This is from last year in my um, wax grab bag. This is in Haunted Mansion. I wanted to get this again this year, but I'm pretty sure it was sold out in like all the wax forms, the shape and the clam. So I didn't get it, but I do have this little shape. So we will warm this. This one is from um i think the summer collection but because of the mac apples blueberries i just kind of felt like it was more of a fall melt we have some scoops from last year again i think i just mentioned in my most recent zay paul that i don't love the scoops they do last a long time i found because these jars are pretty big 7.5 ounces um but the consistency is just kind of it's not my favorite very sticky but you know, we will go through them this year. Pumpkin Queen. So these are from September of last year. So I definitely want to go through them. Mummy Bread. Candy Corn Cake. And Pumpkin Patch. Then... I'm not going to go through all these because this was from my most recent Zape haul. And if you want to see all my fall Zape wax that I got, you can watch that video. But this is just in a little basket next to me because it's all fall themed as well. Um, so you guys, I have a mound, a mountain of fall wax next to me. I am going to pick out all the loaves that I want to do my fall chop and chat. That video will be probably up after this one. I'm going to film it back to back, but they'll probably be up on separate days. Um, what else? I'm going to look in my collection. I'm going to do another pass through this, see if I have like any, you know, a lot of other fall wax. But to be honest, if I do, I might just keep it in my collection because this is more than enough to get through this fall season. So I'm going to start melting now, today. So... It's basically the end of August, August 28th. So basically September, October, November. 
that's pretty much my fall melting time. So we will see how much we get through. And again, I will save all my empties. Maybe we'll do three months of empties then. Um, not in one video. Oh my gosh, that would be like three hours long, but maybe end of September, end of October, end of November, I'll do empties roundups. Um, yeah, you guys, oh my gosh. Is anyone else's wax collection insane when it comes to fall? Because I hope I'm not the only one, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.